Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to create a flag in Unity 3D. So this is our first flag with a pole and this is our second flag. So we are going to create this two flag in this video. This is Mang Sangvi and thanks for tuning in vlemon. And for this, we are going to follow this blog post. If you want to follow the same blog post, this blog post URL is available in the description of this video. And as shown in this two image, we are, we are going to create this two flag. In both of this image, we are displaying our vlemon.com logo. So we are going to use this two image to create our flag. And before start, let me first show you the Unity project. And let me click on play this game. So this is our first flag with a pole and this is our second flag. So we are going to create this two flag in this video and for this we need to first copy our images. So I already copied my images in my images is available in my images folder. So let's say if you want to create a country specific flag. Uh, you feel free to download country specific flag image and you can use the same so let's say let me quickly find a image for indian flag so i'm let's say i want to use indian flag image and i'm going to open images and it's from wikipedia i'm going to use this image so a uh, view image Control S to save this image. So let me save this image directly inside my image asset folder. So I'm going to show in Explorer and then I'm going to copy this path and then I'm going to save this image inside of a Unity asset folder. Okay, so I'm going to select. Indian flag okay so our image is now available inside of our assets and let's see whether it is going to reflect yes it is here and for creating a flag uh, we need to add a plane so I'm going to quickly add a plane inside our scene so let me quickly click on game object i want 3d object and then i'm going to select a plane here okay so this is our plane i'm not sure where it is so let me change its location to zero num lock zero zero and zero okay and let's change its scale is let's say three is to two and let me see how it's look okay so this is our plane and i want to scale this so let's say i'm going to press shift and then i'm going to scale this flag i think 1.3 is to 1.2 uh, let's say one maybe one is look so i think this is good for a flag i think this size let me select this plane again no i don't i again i want to reduce its size so again i'm going to select this and then shift reduce its size i think this is a good size for flag okay now we are going to use our indian flag image so plane is selected i'm going to select my image and then i'm going to drag our indian flag image on plane okay now our image is applied and the first thing we need to do is we need to first rotate our uh, flag for this i'm going to select our plane or let me first rename this so i'm going to say it's indian flag and now i'm going to rotate our image so let's rotate this in 
x direction so let me correct this figures so 90 0 and 0 okay now i'm not able to see my flag so plane in plane we are able to see only one side i don't want this behavior so i'm going to change the material for our flag for this we are going to use uh i'm going to select uh this kokino studio double sided and then i'm going to select standard and diffuse bomb and now i'm able to see my texture on both the side okay now i'm going to arrange our flag a little bit and i want to change or i want to reduce is x width let's say i want uh, 0 0.4 i think or let's say 35 i think 35 is good okay now what is next thing i want i'm going to change few properties inside our material for this i'm going to select this and then i want to reduce the spec intensity oh i want to increase it i think this looks good i want to reduce the glossiness okay i'm done with the material what is the next thing i want to do okay i'm going to so we added our plane we add applied material for our uh, flag and i think this is not looking good so let me try another option okay so this looks good so finally we created a new plane for our flag we applied material we changed the type of shader which we are going to use for our material and if you want to use this double sided shader you are able to download this shader from unity asset stores it is available free of cost so let me quickly show this inside our browser we use this shader and we use this shader if you want to use the same shader you can check the download link for this shader available in the description of this video and what is the next thing i want to do okay uh, now right now if i'm going to click on play our flag is not going to be oh so this is our flag okay so our flag is almost ready now i want to add a component i'm going to use i'm going to add a cloth so i'm going to select cloth and i don't want mesh collider for this so i'm going to remove this component okay great now if i'm going to click on play our flag is gone so let me go and open scene view uh this time i don't want to maximize this uh, let's one more time and this is our scene view and this is our Indian flag it is falling so we are going to fix this first so let me stop our game and then we are going to select our Indian flag okay now right now our flag is falling for fixing this we are going to define constraint so let me go and select our plane and then we are going to define constraint for our flag plot okay i'm going to select on this and now we have uh, two options either we can select and define constraint or we can paint the constraint okay if you are going to paint the constraint here you can change the brush radius right now you are able to see this uh, brush for painting the constraint so let's say i want to fix the position of my flag let's say i want to use this on my flag pole then i'm going to add a constraint on the top or i'm going to add constraint all on all the left dots okay so i need to if let's say i'm not able to see the brush properly so i'm going to increase the brush radius okay so it's too big so let me reduce it i think 1.6 is good and then i'm going to select everything okay i don't want to select anything okay 
for printing uh, these dots or for creating constraint for this dot we are going to use our paint brush option and then we are going to left click and then we are going to select all the left dots it is green it means constraint is defined for all these left dots okay now let's say if you want to remove constraint for any of this dot you are going to click on the select option and then i'm going to select all the dots on which i want to remove the constraint so let's say i want to remove constraint for all this dot and then i'm going to select or i'm going to uncheck this checkbox now constraints are removed for all these dots now let's see how it's uh, behave i'm going to click on play now our flag is behaving as a cloth so let me first uh, change the height for our uh, flag so let me select our indian flag and then i'm going to change its y direction and this is our flag so let's try one more time okay so this is our, our flag is almost ready now we need to add a pole flag pole for our indian flag so let me first uh remove this flag william on flag select this and delete and now i'm going to select our indian flag and now we are going to use this in or uh, we are going to place its location i'm going to select v oops i'm going to select v i want to move this flag first i'm not sure why we are not able to change the plane location when cloth uh, when we apply cloth so let me first remove this remove component and now if i'm going to try to change the location for our plane now i'm able to change it so let me select move tool we are going to press v and i'm going to select uh this point i think mm let me again press v and i think this is a good location for our flag okay so we are almost ready and i think our flag is too big so let me reduce its size a little bit so i'm again going to select our flag and then i'm going to select or select our flag first Okay, I'm going to reduce its size. So let's say I'm going to select XZ location. I think this looks good. And now again, I want to move our flag. So I'm going to select V again for vertices. Select our flag first v i want to snap on our flag pole okay let me select okay i think this is the correct location now it looks good and now again i'm going to add a component i'm going to add the uh, cloth again we need to define constraint for our uh, cloth so i'm going to select i want to reduce radius a little bit or let me use select i'm going to select the first and then i'm going to say my existence i'm going to select it's 0 0.2 and again i'm going to select this bottom dot and then again i'm going to select max distance and again the value is 0 0.2 okay now we are ready and let's see how our flag is going to be behave okay now it looks good but uh, if you are able to notice our uh, flag is our flag is not interacting with the pole collider so for fixing this 
I'm going to stop the gameplay and what I want to do next I'm going to select our flag and then I want to add capsule collider size 1 and we are going to select our flag pole and we are going to drag off oh, I'm going to select my flag again and then I'm going to drag and drop my flag pole here oops okay now let's play our game one more time now i think it's okay now we are going to add wind let me switch back to scene view now we are going to add wind right now it is not looking good so let me uh, I want to add or uh, it's I want to change its Y location and then I want to add wind so I'm going to select external acceleration I'm going to change its X value no I want it in negative acceleration so I'm going to select negative value for X okay so um, our flag is not looking good so we are going to add more constraint for our flag for this i'm going to select our plane again i'm going to select all the dots all these dots i want to select i'm going to select max distance and the value for this is 0 0.2 okay so this is ready and let's try one more time and let's give a negative value in x direction inside scene view uh, let's say I want to add minus 40 now it's like uh, now it is a little bit better okay now I want to change the value for external accelerations let's say minus 5 and we are going to add random acceleration in x direction so let's say minus 9 again i am going to add few values for y so let's uh, try 2 let's try 2 and for random acceleration let's try 10 and similarly i am going to add a value for z let's say z 1.5 and random acceleration is around 5 Okay, and I want to change the value for x so let's say minus 3 and random acceleration let's say minus 3 again I think it is going to be 6 so play with this value when you are fine with this and uh, use those values so let me use minus 1.5 and minus 6 for x for 2 i'm going to say 2 uh, for y i'm going to select 2 and 4 for z i'm going to select 1.2 and for z i'm going to select let's say 4 so i am done with this i saved my scene this is about how to create flag in unity 3d and let me switch back to scene view so this is our newly created flag and this is our second flag where we are going to use some alpha and this texture is not good so that's why you are able to see this line if your texture is good you are going to use good shader then you are not able to see all this transparent line okay so inside this i uh, i created this image so it looks like that my flag is torn from the bottom so what is required for a good uh, flag you need a good texture and the rest of the thing is uh i showed inside this video okay now for this flag we edit constraint on all the top dots 
and let's say if you are going to remove some of the constraint then it is going to be let's it's like a layer if you are going to let's say remove this so let me select this first let me stop this so let's select let's edit this select remove my existence okay and if i'm going to again click on play So this is how you can create various type of flags in Unity 3. So let me uh, press Ctrl Z. Ctrl Z. Okay, Ctrl Z is not going to be work. So again, I'm going to select all these dots, and then I'm going to select uh, max distance, and then I'm going to select point to value. Okay. So in this video we learn about how to create uh, different types of flag in Unity 3D and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe share it with your friend and see you all in next video some important learnings